Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. In this video, we are going to discuss the lymph nodes and its function. This is the structure of a lymph node. Lymph nodes are bean shaped, having size in between few millimeter up to 2 centimeter and these lie along the course of lymphatics. Now this is the lymph node and the lymph will flow in the lymph node via these lymphatics. These are known as afferent lymphatics. Afferent lymphatics are few in number, while this one is efferent lymphatic. And if efferent lymphatic is usually one, rarely two. These are usually one. Now these are the valves that will prevent the backflow of lymph as the pressure is very low. Now, if we observe the lymph node, there are some divisions. These are known as lymph nodules. So lymph node is having few lymph nodules. These can also be considered as lobules of lymph nodes. A typical lymph node is divided into three regions. This one is cortex, this one is paracortex and this one is medulla. So first of all, this is, called, uh, this is cortex. Cortex is the outer region and it is B cell area. It is having follicles that is lymphoid follicles. These follicles are of two types. We can observe that this is first type of follicle and this one is another type of follicle. These are primary lymphoid follicles and these are secondary lymphoid follicles. If we compare these follicles, then primary follicles are smaller in size while secondary follicles are larger in size. Primary follicles are there when antigen interaction has not occurred while the secondary follicles, that is secondary lymphoid follicles, are formed after antigenic interaction. These primary lymphoid follicles are having resting B cells and dendritic cells. These capture and process the antigen. While the secondary lymphoid follicles are having activated B cells, that is plasma cells and memory cells. In addition, dendritic cells are also there. Now a primary follicle is having no subdivisions while there are two divisions in secondary lymphoid follicle. First one is germinal center 
which is on inner side this one is germinal center and the second one is peripheral mental area so this one is mental area and this is forming a secondary lymphoid follicle the other regions are this is trabecule or partition this is capsule and this is subcapsular space so this is cortex and inner to cortex is this region that is known as para cortical area it can be considered as the deeper part of cortex in lymph node it is important to note that it is t cell area and the innermost region is this that is medulla and medulla is having long medullary branched cords these are also known as medullary cords and these medullary cords as the medulla is again b cell area so it is having b cell plus plasma cells plus macrophages so this one is b cell area that is cortex inner part of cortex or paracortical area is t cell area and this region is again the medulla which is b cell area now the flow of lymph will be from will start from afferent lymphatics then it will move to subcapsular space then it will move to trabecular sinus this is trabecular sinus trabecular sinus continues through the cortical and paracortical area finally that will lead to the medullary sinus and this medullary sinus will finally pour the lymphatics into the efferent lymphatics so this is the flow of lymph in a lymph node this region which is representing the concavity is known as hilum of lymph node the main function of lymph node is the destruction of microorganisms and various types of antigens hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications